Hi, so I'm Ava. Um, I'm in eighth grade right now, almost a high schooler. And so I volunteered to do like a little chapel video because um, I saw something the other day that I thought was really cool. So um, I live near a lake, so I went, and I have a German Shepherd too, and I went to brush my German Shepherd because he's shedding his like winter coat. So extra fuzzy. And um, I took him down there and br was brushing him, and a fisherman guy came up, and he was like fishing 30 feet away from me, but he was blasting the song Hallelujah off his fishing boat, and I just thought that was really, really cool. That, like, I'm surrounded by other Christians if I know it or not, so that just gives me encouragement. And then, um, so through all this corona stuff, um, I'm a person who loves social contact and like needs it, so it's been kind of hard being distanced from everybody. And like over the screen, it's just not the same thing for me. And um, so I feel like God was trying to tell me that uh, I need to be more thankful for my friends and for the teachers in school. Like even though school can be a bummer sometimes, and like we just don't love it all the time, um, this showed me that. I really do appreciate it and I feel like I don't, I take things for granted if they're not taken away from me. So I learned that and then also I have a verse about encouragement. So this is Matthew 5, 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And then I have one more about peace. So this is John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Not as the world gives you, but as I give you. So let your hearts not be troubled, neither let them be afraid. So if you guys want, I'm gonna be uh, praying each day at four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, praying for Corona that it will People who have it will be healed and that we can be more appreciative of the things we have currently because we are really blessed right now and be more appreciative in the future. So, love you guys and I hope to see you soon. Hello everybody. I hope you're having a good corona break. Um, if you hear some heavy breathing in the background, it's because my dog is sitting right here. So... I made a little devotional that I just wanted to kind of share with you guys because I feel like, I don't know, I think some of us just need a little bit of encouragement. I think we're all kind of getting a little bit tired of staying home all the time. Um, I know I definitely am, so I just wanted to share something with you guys. So first, I'm going to read a couple Bible verses. I'm in Proverbs and I'm kind of skipping around a little bit. Laziness induces deep sleep and a lazy person will go hungry. Don't love sleep or you'll become poor. Open your eyes and you will have enough to eat. So the main things I kind of wanted to focus with those verses was the laziness. What I more am wanting to talk about is um, the fact that if we don't do anything during this time and if we just relax and just kind of do the bare minimum we will um, I think kind of lose our minds because we won't be doing anything productive I know it can be really easy to kind of just turn on autopilot I honestly have been for the past few days but I just want to encourage you to not let these days go to waste we have all this time to really get stuff done. Yes, it can be so easy to just lay around the house and I completely understand. I feel like you can really use this time to grow. I know it is really a hard time for a lot of people, people who are struggling, whose lives have been completely changed because of this. You're losing certain experiences. So as terrible as this situation is, I feel like God has really given us this time to grow and to find our way back to him. And so I really just wanna encourage you to take a minute and kind of just pause whatever you're doing or do this sometime later tonight. Just pause and take a break from taking a break and actually talk to God and just kind of see what he is calling you to do. Take a minute and ask him, what do you want me to do now? 
what are you asking from me? And just listen. And maybe he'll answer right away and maybe he won't. And maybe it'll just be a feeling that you have that it's something that you've been wanting to do, but you weren't sure. Maybe what he's calling you to is going to benefit tons of people around you. And maybe all he's calling you to do is do something that's gonna help yourself and help you grow. Whatever he is calling you to, I really encourage you to say yes and use this time as an opportunity. Take this time and instead of just scrolling through your phone, which I have definitely been guilty of, open your Bible and read something. And if you have no idea where to start, um, I really recommend Ephesians. I know a lot of the juniors at CAK, um, we just read Ephesians for capstone, but when it's required for a class, I know it's very easy to just kind of skim through it and just get it done. Um, but really like take a minute and read something and just focus in on it and see what God is trying to say to you through it. I'm gonna leave you with a verse. So this is from Romans. 12 verse 11 and 12 do not lack diligence in zeal be fervent in the spirit serve the lord rejoice in hope be patient in affliction be persistent in prayer thank you to those of you who stayed to the end of this video and i really hope that you've gotten something from it um, i did create a playlist that kind of goes along with this little Bible study. Here's the Spotify link if you want to screenshot it and then I will have the Apple Music link in my bio if you would rather use that. I hope you guys have a great rest of the week and I really hope that you can seize this time that God has given to us. What's going on CAK family? I hope you're having an awesome morning so far. Most of you probably have no idea who I am. Uh, my name is Caleb and I'm the associate worship pastor and uh, college and young adult pastor at Park West right down the street from you guys. I know life is a little different right now from what I understand. You're hanging out on Zoom this morning. I'm, I know it well. I've been doing Google Hangout meetings and Zoom meetings nonstop for the last couple weeks and we're all kind of figuring out what this new system looks like. This morning, I'm so excited for an opportunity just to, to lead you in a song together. I want to encourage you, whether you're in your pajamas currently or whatever life looks like in your, your current situation, um, just to open your heart and your own mind to get the day started in the best way. And let's just, let's worship together.
Então...